Hey family, God bless you. Welcome to Sharing the Gifts. This is Brother Robert. Of course, I'm giving all honor and glory to my Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, the Son of God, who was sent to be slain to give his life as an atonement for the sin of the world, for whoever believes in him, whoever puts their faith that he is Lord alone, shall receive forgiveness of their sin and live everlasting life in the kingdom of God with the Father of heaven, the Father of Israel, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. All the above. He is everything. He is the Almighty. He is the Alpha and Omega. That is the beginning and the end. He has told us the end from the beginning. That is how we know that He alone is the Lord God of all and his name shall be magnified in this world on this earth on this planet above all other gods for there is none other there is no god but him there is no god like him there is none beside him for he is mighty and wonderful merciful and just a loving god that cares for his children and has done a mighty thing for us to be able to return into the heavenly realm with him and be restored to the glory that he has prepared for us to receive. So praise God on this day and glory to his name in Jesus name. Amen. So I had this really, really cool dream last night and I wanted to share this with you guys because we're in a time where there's so much fear and so many people are just scared for their lives. They don't know which way is up, which way is down, which way is left, which way is right. They don't know where to go. They don't know who to talk to. They don't know how to deal with the things that are happening in our world in this day. And it's just going to get worse. It's going to get worse as we see in the word of God. God has provided the knowledge that we need, the wisdom that we need to see where the things are going. And so many people are full of fear, even very our very own brothers and sisters who are believers in Christ. Many of us, many of them are filled with fear fear in this time. And I just want to give a word of encouragement from our God. He's going to speak this word through me. And I pray that this be a blessing unto you and into your life, that it would help you to have a calm spirit, a calm spirit to know that our God is for us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. So in this dream, it seemed to be a overall look of the things that we go through in this life, being a Christian and being a believer, should I say. And um, I was at this, uh, I guess you can say a resort, as we all have had various dreams on this, this place. And... Um, I was there with my wife and we and we were doing um, these different activities and, and we came across this activity that was like a obstacle course. So uh, my wife decided that she wanted to get into it. And um, so, of course, I go into it with her and um, a few things happened uh, getting up leading up to this point. But I just wanted to share um, the main part of this dream for this message. So as we are going through um, this course, uh, I begin to understand that we have a limited amount of time to uh, reach the finish line and we would receive some sort of key. And of course, I wanted to receive this. So um, I begin to speed through this faster than we were currently going. So I was doing all types of tricks and parkour and running and, and hopping over things. And 
And then I, I begin to realize that there are alligators all over the place. So we're on this, we're climbing up this mountain and running across this mountain. And um, there's like alligators hitting, hitting in all types of different spots. So I'm like running and jumping over them and, and, you know, like hopping on them and hopping off quickly, you know, doing all types of stuff to avoid, uh, avoid these, these uh, animals, these beasts. And I then also notice that there's lions around too. So I started thinking that it seemed like they were trying to trap us. They wanted to trap us in the, uh, throughout this course. So I made a point to move through this course so fast that they couldn't catch up or trap me. So we get to this last part and I sort of slide down this these steps of this elevated platform and there was this guy there on the side that had tried to capture me but he wasn't able to get to me um because of me sliding down and um like I I, I guess I was so low to the ground that he wasn't able to get to me and all of these things are, are very symbolic and and uh important so um I then get to the finish line but or or I get to this area where I thought would be the finish line and I didn't see it so I asked my wife where it is and she points to it and then so we I was like okay I guess we didn't get there yet so we start running over to it and then I heard that we were supposed to arrive to this finish line in like some type of vehicles and at that point I noticed that there's these large cans laying on the ground so we pick up these cans and we put our feet into them and, and pre begin to pretend that they're like little tiny cars and we scoot over to the finish line. So we get to the finish line and I thought that someone would acknowledge that we had finished this course, but nobody came. So I then found out that the owner of this place or this course, whatever, um, he was off doing something, but he would be back. But I had a knowing um, that he was up to up to something. He was up to no good. He was doing something wicked, like he was a wicked man of something. And then I saw there was someone walking a lion behind this wall near us. So I, I happened to be talking with this other man and he had he told me that he found out about the lion or he had found out about the lion when I had uh, saw the lion was there and he noticed it and he started freaking out so he was filled with fear he was all scared so then this voice starts speaking to us and it told us to look at the lion to look closer at the lion so then my view uh zoom, zooms in to this lion um behind this wall and i then heard the voice say uh, that the lion had no teeth. So I so I then kind of start to focus in on the lion's mouth. And I saw all the teeth of this lion were all broken. All of them, they were all broken. There was no sharp teeth in his mouth. So I then thought about if he tried to eat somebody, he couldn't chew them because he had he didn't have any sharp teeth. He couldn't harm them. But then, like, I also had thought about the fact that he still had a powerful jaw. But but I was like, but he can't really do anything because uh, he has no teeth to harm us. So then I saw, uh, then it, this this part was kind of kind of weird. And I still have to look into this part myself and, and pray on this. But I then saw that the jaw um, started to fall out. After the fact, after I had thought about that he still had a powerful jaw, I then noticed that his jaw, uh, the the bone of the jaw begins to come out of the mouth, like it was like it was uh, detaching. And I looked deeper into this mouth, and I saw there was a man's face in the lion's mouth, and he smiled at me in a guilty way, like he knew that he had been caught. And I then realized that it was the mayor, and. I was like, oh, they're, they're hiding the mayor in this line. So then the dream goes on from there. But uh, 
this was the main part of the dream I really wanted to share, or the Lord was uh, giving me a message to share. So, uh, just kind of break a few things down in this dream. First of all, praise God for this word. Praise God for the dream, for vision, for insight, understanding, and wisdom. Wisdom to be able to apply these things in our daily lives and grow, grow fruit and, and produce fruit for the kingdom, for the, the name and powerful God that we serve. So, um, as of, of course, you know, going through this course, this obstacle course, you know, relating to um, the whole walk of a, a, a believer of Christ, the, the, you know, the Christian walk. The daily struggle, uh, the the race as it is said to be in the in the word. So, um, you know, we're trying to finish this this side of life, uh, on, you know, get to the finish line, uh, which is uh, the gates of heaven. So, we then uh, the fact that. You know, I'm seeing all these these alligators and lions and, you know, these these are all traps. These are all uh, traps from the enemy laid around, you know, for us to to uh, step into, you know, uh, it is uh, temptations and, and sin, and, you know, that that are going to bite us if we if we get uh, pulled into. They're going to bite us and, and harm us, cause harm to us. Then. We also see the fact that there's this mountain that we're running along, this mountain that we're climbing up, and I'm seeing all these traps of these alligators and lions hidden in this mountain. As the word talks about mountains, uh, you know, if we have the faith of a mustard seed, that we could tell the mountain to move and it would move. You know, these are also talking about uh, hurdles in our lives or, or even. Uh, demonic um hindrances being put in our place to to block us from uh, moving forward from progress from growth things that are standing in our way that we have to overcome giants if you will then the fact that i see that uh you know this man is trying to to uh trap me but i slide down and like i said i was so low he wasn't able to catch me this is talking about being low to the ground um referring to being humble humbling yourself being low as we are to bow before our god we are humble before before our god in the presence of our god as he says those that humble themselves will be exalted by him because he's the one who exalts. So um, then we see that uh, these these beasts and these deep demonic traps were, were, um, were all around, but even still they couldn't catch me. So Proverbs 3.26 says, For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. So there, even in the word directly, he says that if we keep our our faith and, and we can be confident in the Lord, if we trust in him, he will keep us. He will keep our foot from being caught by the enemy. Um, and then we have Psalm 58, 6 uh, regarding the the whole fact that I saw this this line. So remember, I was seeing these lines, but then I was show I was told to look deeper at the lion. Look at his face. Look at his mouth, and he had no teeth. All his teeth were broken. Um, we see here in Psalm fifty eight six. It says, "Break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord." In Job four verses seven to ten, it says, "Remember, I pray thee." Whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. By the blast of God they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. The roaring of the lion, and the voice of the fierce lion, and the teeth of the young lions are broken. So he's saying here that the wicked 
will be destroyed. The wicked will be cut off they, and, and they will be a, not be able to do a thing. And because that we see like the, the lion has no teeth. So how can his bite harm you? That's why we, ha we have no reason to fear. Our enemy cannot harm us if he has no teeth. And God has taken the teeth out of the lion so he cannot harm you. For what can the devourer devour without teeth? So we see in Luke 10, 19, it says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So we need not fear because we have a mighty God on our side. Psalm 27, 1 says, A psalm of David, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 118, 6 says, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? What can man do to you if God is on your side? And Isaiah 41 10 says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So God is there with you the whole time throughout every situation that you can go through. He is there every step beside you, behind you, above you and in front of you far ahead of you, waiting for you to get to the finish line, to meet him with open arms, and he can congratulate you and tell you, well done, thy good and faithful servant, come on in. Praise God for that day. Praise God for that day. But in the meantime, we do not have to fear my people, my brothers and my sisters. We have no need to fear our enemy because he is defeated. His teeth have been broken and he shall not hurt us by any means because we have been given the authority to trample upon every bit of his power by the authority of the most high God. Glory to God for that. Thank you, Jesus. So take this word and great encouragement and go forth in your life. Apply this every day, no matter what we see ahead of us, no matter what we have to face. We have a God there for us. So I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll talk with you soon.